there's our chat nice make sure we're coming in live and there we are awesome hi everyone this is chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to the live stream today today is april 3rd 2021 saturday morning at 10 a.m pst my time and i hope you're doing well today's live stream is investing in personal finance and we've done a ton of these i guess now a few of these now and we have a investing in personal finance playlist on sensor tube and we got a lot of videos on uh, bitchute and i think all the videos on investing in personal finance are on bitchute uh the live streams anyway the discussions and um we're gonna keep on doing this thing because it is interesting times it is interesting times and there's a lot of things a lot of places where we can park money invest our resources to try to make sure that uh, we become anti-fragile right uh, aside from that welcome to another live stream uh, I hope you're doing well um, and while we wait for notifications to go out on discord and on twitch let me give you my little intro that I basically start these live streams off with Lark Bark, how are you doing? Hello, Chicho, and good morning. Good morning to you as well. I hope you're doing well. I got some tea. I had a nice breakfast. I made some bread. I had some some of my own homemade bread. Cheryl, how are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Maddie Gigi, how are you doing? How are you doing? Are we batteries? <laughs> are we batteries? X. I hope you're doing well. I haven't seen you in a couple of uh, last streams, uh, but there were uh, what we were talking about last stream. Well, yesterday's stream was regarding censorship, specifically on SensorTube and Google and the tech companies. And on Friday, we did, or yesterday was Friday, on Thursday. What did we do on Thursday? I forget what we did on Thursday. We did something. We did something. Uh, I forgot what we did. <laughs> good day my friend good day sergeant buzzkill i was just talking to my partner about the crystals by the way what you were mentioning i think it was you that was mentioning it last night that uh, uh jade the uh, comic call we all yeah that's right on the how could i forget the comic call oh my god thanks cheryl we did a comic call of mccall on thursday i was just telling my partner about the courts holding odin's uh, odin's what i mentioned it to her Odin's, uh, uh, what do you call it, despair or something like this? Matty G, not bad. At work, 12 hour shift today and tomorrow. Ooh, laugh out loud. Paying the bills, paying the bills. Are you in the healthcare sector, Matty? 12 hour shifts? The sorrows of Odin. That's right, sorrows of Odin. Uh, so that was cool. That was cool. I need to. Odin's sorrow, yeah. EMS security, okay, okay. Emergency response, secure. Emergency, emergency response, right? That's security. Cool, gang. If you want to follow this work, I am on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash chicho c h y c h o. If you want to support this work, if you want to want, know what this work is about, which is basically layered on mathematics, Patreon is a great place to follow what it is that we are doing. Uh, keep track of what it is that we are sharing and as always i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share alike and for those of you who've been supporting this work on patreon gang thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this okay i woke myself up from my nap to be here haha <laughs> awesome sergeant buzzkill i hope you were uh, uh you can get back into the nap naps are awesome by the way very healthy gang not basically the first place you should be investing your money uh in terms of personal finance and investment should be in your health and cat naps in the afternoon are a great way to reduce stress and kick your body into a healing uh sort of algorithm right and for those of you who want to participate in these live streams as they are happening we are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash chicho live, C-H-Y-C-H-O-L-I-V-E. If you want to participate in the chat and it's over here today, 
Twitch is where you want to be at. And gang, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the conversations. Thank you for the debates. Thank you, mods, for taking care of business. And thank you for the follows, right? And and the and the cheers and the points and all that jazz, right? I do announce these last streams 30 minutes before we go live on Parlor, VK, Gab, and Minds. Okay. You can follow the work there. Thank you for the um, <laughs> rickety rocket. <laughs> and you can come to our Twitch channel anytime you want and type an exclamation mark social and you get a link to all those platforms, including our Discord page where we have a lot of people sharing information as well as well as uh, debating right we get into heavy debates on our discord which is a fantastic thing right from two different perspectives or multiple different perspectives debating an issue a topic where we might not agree and for many things we do not agree that is a good thing that is a good thing okay sleepy waves you're a good morning sleepy waves how are you doing who's ready to talk some personal finance i know i am nice oh my god i just went to to shop to get beer i was in a hurry so i used another vendor saved two pounds on an eight pack nice that's good personal finance <laughs> sergeant buzzkill thank you for allowing me to destroy your faith in your crystals <laughs> i didn't destroy it it's more information more information regarding a certain topic doesn't destroy your perspective on that topic it just gives you more information about that topic sometimes we're ill-informed and we like something that we shouldn't be liking sometimes the additional information makes us appreciate that more what you shared makes me appreciate my crystals more right it didn't destroy the faith it makes me appreciate them more the mythology behind some of it is amazing right and i knew there was a fair bit there i just didn't know about odin's sorrow uh with quartz and uh lapids lapids and jade being the two good ones you need and that's maybe one of the reasons why um in asia i know in china huge uh jade is big and gang if you had invested in jade 20 years ago your investment returns last time i checked was a few years ago but during a 10-year period the price on jade just went through the roof uh so jade was a great place to park your money by the way uh, rage laugh out loud how are you doing i say 15 percent uh or more on car insurance by switching to get <laughs> that's my tip for personal finance and that's like an advertisement that you hear on the radio and stuff where do people buy and sell minerals um there are major trade shows that happen or they used to happen before all these lockdowns where dealers vendors collectors can go to trade shows and they buy tons of whatever they can afford and by the way crystals minerals they're heavy right so they would buy the stuff and then take them to whatever town they're located in and they store them and they go hunting right you can also sell them online i remember lapis uh, lazuri from uh, everquest nice lapis lazuri that's right sure uh sergeant buskill i thought of the sores of odin this morning while working on my garden plant had a giggle at the idea of how much quartz i have to pull from my garden beds sorrows indeed i can't believe i didn't think of that aspect last night funny funny we will be uploading the audio of this live stream to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho as a podcast and that podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and that's what we're doing with any of the live streams we have where we don't have any visuals or presenting any visuals which this is one of them I don't have any visuals available and we will be uploading this live stream I believe to sensor two but it will most likely well 100% go on BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. So this live stream will definitely be on BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. On sensor two, most likely. Um, for now, we'll see where the discussion takes us. If the discussion takes us somewhere we're not allowed to 
talk about on sensor tube then we won't load it up but i'm not um i'm okay in going into discussions as long as it's not politics related and the other thing related right if it's personal finance we can definitely talk about it okay aside from that gang welcome to this live stream uh, i hope i hope uh, you are faring well in these interesting times swag boy flex let me take these guys down and gang as always it is because of the collective support we're getting on these platforms that we're able to do what it is that we are doing so thank you for the support swag boy flex i don't really believe in gems and crystals having healing powers but i am sure it's an interesting market to make money in for sure indeed indeed uh like for example watched uh watched wonder woman 1984 um the new wonder woman movie uh, a couple of days ago and one of the central uh objects in the movie is a crystal right and the expert that's looking at this crystal mentions that oh this crystal is not really worth very much maybe it's like 75 dollars right me and my partner were like no way that's 75 dollars that would be into if not the hundreds it would be into the thousands of dollars and then we went oh yeah that's 1984 so i don't know what that crystal was going for in 1984 right i'm pretty sure it was more than 75 dollars right maybe it wasn't but that crystal that they mentioned is not worth very much which is 75 dollars they're referring to it in 1984 that thing would be worth a, a fine penny right now okay see chicho i missed a mineral stream but do you um by any chance believe that each mineral vibrates at a certain frequency uh you yeah for sure because of the lattice structure right and that's how folks potentially time mineral spiritual yeah for sure sleepy waves there's no doubt they have different lattice structures and different lattice structures have different resonances they they react to vibrations at a different frequency like quartz crystals they use to keep time you send a little electric pulse in there it has a it has a predictable it's a function it has a predictable vibration that keeps time it's, that's what it is right yeah i heard that too uh well i linked it up in our discord rickety rocket sensor tube is now removing all display of dislikes is it all display of dislikes or just the ones that they don't want people to know how much they dislike them like they already give creators the option or people who upload the option to turn off dislikes and comments why are they disabling dislikes and by the way i mentioned this last night if i was a fund manager and i was holding alphabet inc in my fund i would be dumping all the shares i would be pulling out of any investment in google and youtube that's tied to google and youtube i looked at the numbers and youtube's revenue okay is 10 percent of alphabet inks of total revenue okay so youtube accounts for 10 percent i believe anyway they just started releasing numbers sharing youtube information like only like a couple of years ago right but from what i could find youtube accounts for 10 percent of the revenue of alphabet and alphabet inc the management on youtube is making some horrendous choices as well as google what would be alphabet inc i guess right they're making some horrendous choices bad business decisions because i believe the reason they're doing these is to that in down the road they assume all this all tech is going to be eliminated and they will be the only player in the game i think they're mistaken okay i think they're making bad decisions and as a business it is not a good place to park your money as far as i see it okay i will sabotage the ct upload you're not allowed to dislike anything anymore <laughs> yeah. only what they tell you to dislike sleep with chicho first personal finance question it's about um cryptos laugh out loud so i keep seeing so many day traders make huge amounts of money just trading crypto lately for instance ethereum hit 2k this week do you think when the market busts if it does that wall street or banks is going uh going bail out cryptocurrency no i think uh, well to a certain degree no okay there is a there's a serious effort right now to eliminate 
um, certain tokens, right? So there is an effort from centralized power to try to eliminate a certain sector of the crypto market, right? Blockchain technology. So if that happens, you're going to see certain cryptos collapse. And those who want to stay in the crypto game, they're going to take their money and put it into the cryptos that the central power is not going in, going after yet, or may never go after because they actually control it, right? Bitcoin is possibly one of them, right? This is a discussion that anybody that's pushing Bitcoin should really have in the back of their mind. And if they're being honest to themselves, they will have considered it, right? But they're too busy in the in the in the trading game, right? So there is a certain sector of the crypto uh, market that is under attack right now, right? Now, are the banks going to bail out the crypto? I doubt it very much. But it's not really the banks; it's government, central governments. And are central government governments going to bail out the crypto market? I doubt it, but if they do end up bailing out Bitcoin, it means they control it. That is, that is, that's it. Some people already believe that Bitcoin is controlled by central power, right? That is a very, that that is a possibility. Okay, they 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 rolled this out to get people used to uh, accepting not crypto per se, but digital currencies as the new normal so they're going to kill all the cryptos out there um, that are being traded anonymously right anonymity that provide the essential the number one role right the number one characteristics of crypto was anonymity if any so-called cryptos out there that doesn't provide you anonymity it's not a cryptocurrency it's a scam all right up to you if you want to park your money in it but if it doesn't have anonymity you're being played and central power right now wants to roll out digital currencies and they will not have anonymity right and including big tech right so be careful the game the the industry is like this personally right now regarding bitcoin if you want to think about it i think do not take this as financial advice disclaimer given on all my anything i say on any stream including comic books mathematics everything right take it with a grain of salt do your own research but here is my take regarding bitcoin specifically i think bitcoin might do a pop-up to mid six thousands possibly six six maybe right and then I think there's going to be a serious correction coming right now. If I was holding uh, Bitcoin, I would have dumped 90% of my uh, my position in Bitcoin. OK, at 59,000, I'd be out in the 50s. I would have been out in 45, right? 59, I pull out 90% at least. OK, well, so that's my take regarding cryptos and if you want to know my full take regarding cryptos we do have a cryptocurrency playlist on sensor two and i've been following cryptos i'm i keep on saying this but just in case there's anybody new here uh i was mining crypto uh i was mining bitcoin back in 2010 2011 a little bit right i've been following bitcoin when it was like you could get 100 bitcoins for like less than 10 dollars right swag boy flex and it is crazy that the planet can create something so beautiful over millions of years indeed indeed nature is phenomenal all right sergeant buskill to cheryl oh dear i wouldn't grow something where there is a lot of quartz. really my grandpa grew something in a quartz riddled ground and he got extremely sick quartz is a death stone not a life stone whoa sergeant buzzkill okay i'll keep that in mind i'll keep that in mind you loved it elder god uh wonder woman 1984 i really enjoyed the movie spoiler for the first half the second half was subpar it was not as good as the first half 
so for the first it was out two hour and something minute for the first hour it was really good after that it wasn't as good so you could carry a course when you go to a funeral haha <laughs> you could carry a course when you go to a funeral really man I gotta look at uh, sergeant buskill link us up on our discord page please uh, I don't know if you linked us up yet I didn't see it or I might, might have missed it Addy GG what a joke safe space safe space <laughs> all the God says I was born a free man I will dislike as I see fit Google is YouTube baby that's no good no good and by the way gang if you're using search engines I personally use DuckDuckGo and there are other ones out there right uh, if you're only using Google you're you're not reaching everything that you're getting filtered information okay Rick Lang it's unfortunate that YouTube is uh, uh, SFW the classic this website is now worthless you know more <laughs> moral right down yeah yeah it's a broken system now it's a broken tool right it, it once it stops sending notifications for new uploads for channels that you were subscribed to that you turn on notifications it's an algorithm that's not working it's a virus ridden algorithm you need to remove it right because it's been embedded in our society for so long it was on the forefront and there's so much information on there a lot of it being eliminated by the way it had a initial foothold i think it's peaked and it's going to be on the decline in as far as i see it right and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org and or julian assange and wikileaks playlist on censor tube elegant anonymity is the greatest weapon in a war against cancel culture indeed Putin Roaster, how are you doing? Hello, Chicho. Have you invested in Tesla or any green uh, stocks? Okay, uh, Tesla is not a green stock. Uh, green stocks, I have looked at. I am, you know, through family. Family is about to, well, they have already invested in certain green, I wouldn't say tech, but green stock for sure. And did I invest in Tesla? Yeah, back in uh, 2011, um, I, was, I was involved in the markets and bought a serious position in tesla when it was trading at 25 dollars pre five to one split so it would have been bought a serious position into tesla at five dollars in today's prices right uh, not for myself i invested 10 gold coins in bitcoin now it's 34 gold coins <laughs> nice <laughs> Oh my God! Uh, see what Chicho. Based on what you have seen, do you think Bitcoin is controlled by the government? Certain part, like for me, my this reply, the way I'm reacting to it, should tell you what I think. Okay, it's not what it was. It's no longer what it was designed to be, right? Okay. Also, is there a crypto that you are a fan of that has some sorts of ethics and morals around preserving anonymity? Um, at the beginning, uh, I, I like the concept of uh, Bitcoin at the beginning. Okay, white paper, reading the white paper, being involved in it and stuff mm -hmm. like this. When Ethereum came on, I really liked Ethereum, really. Smart contracts, I'm a huge fan of. Uh, blockchain smart contracts and token coins i'm a huge fan of right i haven't looked into uh specific cryptos out there okay so i can't say which ones i prefer but i'm no longer a huge fan of bitcoin i think it's problematic in a big way okay spy spy swag boy flex i believe there's a large space that is available for uh, a true youtube competitor one that allows for all speech to exist and allows for its users to police what is wrong uh, right and wrong by allowing for open discourse 100 percent, and i believe we're already seeing that disruptive innovation pop in we're sharing i'm uploading all of my content on odyssey rumble and bitshoot those three platforms get everything that we're putting out 
sensor tube no longer does okay and that's happening across the board there's tons of creators right now that are uploading sharing their content all of their content on other platforms and only a select amount of content on sensor tube that means sensor tube is now has been relegated to a second tier alternate video hosting platform it's not the main one anymore even though it has all that all those videos on there but that's because at the beginning stages it its premise was share what you like right open speech platform it is no longer a free speech platform its business model has changed hence it is no longer a great place to park your money treat them as a uh, a partner uh, reliable partner or invest your money in that company i think you'd be foolish to go heavy into alphabet inc right now it, it would be ridiculous they they have changed their business they they killed the goose that laid the golden egg and opened the door for competitors to come in and just knock them off right in 10 years time like right now youtube controls 90 percent of the video uh consumption market in the united states 10 years from now it is not going to be 90 percent no way no how right so this is the peak that's it right like and it's not going to maintain that position it's being dislodged why would you invest in that company yeah. 200 years ago we take uh, take produce meat nuggets of ore bales of hay or cotton to a person who work for a company and offered a rate and you pick up pick the one who paid most yeah and to a certain degree we're doing that right now on different platforms right see what, what green stocks uh, is your family watching right now uh, the green stocks for me the end of prohibition is green tech kicking in that is the most important green technology being rolled out in our societies right now ending America's war on drugs will do more to preserve to help nature to clean help us to clean our act pollute less than all the other green techs out there without a doubt the cannabis industry is the most important disruptive innovation that is being rolled out in our societies right now and it has it's going to have a huge environmental impact i believe positive if it's rolled out properly if it's not rolled out through a centralized government in a centralized way where they give licenses to certain select people that they know right to produce the products right which they try to do but they're failing at it right there is a certain amount of environmental footprint that rolling out the cannabis industry has because there's major cannabis farms being uh, put out where um, you know they're they're consuming energy and stuff like this but if everybody starts growing cannabis in their backyards those companies uh, are not going to be as successful so their footprint is going to be a lot less young Polacks long time no see hello hello hope you're doing well sergeant buzzkill this is uh, from years of superstitious people telling me about crystals and I try to find stuff to to search th these things but the uh, world hack web has failed me but I can provide the list of crystals and and, and their meanings uh, meanings in my faith oh sergeant buzzkill that'll be amazing uh, if you can that'll be fantastic and it's unfortunate that we're having a hard time finding information online uh, and if you do provide the list I think some people me included might do a little search uh, try to find some sources to see uh, you know to check and to provide those sources on our discord page right swag boy flex the government of China owns the most bitcoins even if it's fully decentralized the largest holder has the greatest control over the coins future price indeed and here's the kicker China uh, put out legislation and stuff like this where they prevented uh, new tokens being released I, I was following this as it was happening I told you you know 
this was like four years ago and all the bitcoin miners that were in china they moved out right they went to different countries right so china was trying to grab control and i don't know if the government of china is the most uh, bitcoins i think the government of the united states has a huge stake and huge amount of uh bitcoins in their possession it's paying for a lot of black ops that they're doing i hold ethereum and bitcoin cash uh clum clum doc 07 says visa announced they're now using them to settle transactions cool this is why there's been a spike how this affects anonymity i'm not sure that's the kicker right for me anonymity is the key any crypto that doesn't have anonymity i'm not interested in it right at least they used to they used to have bitcoin farms a lot of them right the minings but they pass certain types of legislation they 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 i believe they came out and said they will not allow any new uh, cryptos tokens to be issued in china something along those lines you have to check it gang uh, i read this when it first came out i forget exactly what the wording was on it okay swag boy felix like china is still the number one miner of bitcoin is it still the number one okay thank you for the correction young polax miners buying all the new gpus for crypto as well huh yeah yeah that's why there's a, there's a huge spike like uh, you want you want to if you wanted to play the bitcoin market the you wanted to trade the bitcoin uh rollout or the crypto market from a secondary market you should have bought into nvidia right look at nvidia stock the return on nvidia has it been as much as bitcoin no because bitcoin was insane it was you know, pennies on pennies on the dollar right back in 2010 2011 but nvidia their stock went up in the last i don't know eight years nine years i think it was sitting at like three four dollars and now it's trading at like 500 something dollars right so there was a secondary way to play all the markets okay uh, see where chicho uh they just passed uh recreational weed in new york city each two-year license is costing like two hundred thousand k which is sad because they are preventing the average person from benefiting from such a huge so yeah they are they're trying to centralize control it right f them by the way sleepy ways did they say that everybody has the right to grow your own cannabis your own plants do people have the right to grow your own plants and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org and our julian assange playlist on sensor tube cheryl scott scott's miracle grow grow corp has grown leaps and bounds over the past year almost entirely to increase uh of cannabis production it's been neat to watch awesome yeah the miracle grow it, i'm based in the west coast of canada miracle grow has been one of the main products uh soils and foods and stuff that all the grow ups in british columbia which was which was uh labeled as a narco state like seriously the united states labeled british columbia canada as a narco state on the same level as colombia right back in the late 1990s early 2000s okay as a narco state right the cannabis industry has been huge here on the down low right off the books okay until they legalized it so it was a black market cannabis industry in british columbia and for over two decades miracle grow or whatever amount of time it has been miracle grow has been the to go-to product that cannabis growers have been using okay I, it's not at the time they didn't have any organic stuff i don't know if they do now or not 
uh, Sergeant Buskill, question for everyone. What's the biggest canary in the coal mine for the end of modern society? End of modern society. What does that mean, end of modern society? We're talking about end of modern, modern monetary theory or end of global trans, uh, global trade or end of global travel or what does end of modern society mean? End of tech? Cheryl, I don't like all they do. Too much lawn and uh, polluting waterways. Yeah, I agree. So I haven't invested, but I love watching them. Yeah, I uh, I have used Miracle Grow in the past. <laughs> okay, just to say, I have used Miracle Grow in the past many moons ago, right? But once I saw, began to understand organic and natural, and uh, I wanted to consume something that was healthy for me i stopped using miracle grow okay and i stopped using miracle grow like 15 years ago okay so i haven't haven't used them for a long time Zik, oh man how do you pronounce your name z x h t y zixia i'm completely new to this conversation subject very interesting though welcome to our twitch channel <laughs> see with chicho what are some of your favorite cannabis stocks you'd like to follow? Uh, I, I posted them, Sleepy Waves. Uh, I feel like there, uh, there's low-key few stocks out there for cannabis. Maybe some new ones will pop up uh, soon. Yeah, the, the, it's a handful out there, and I've linked them up in our personal finance playlist. If you look at, because I forget who it was that asked me if I could uh, mention which stocks I followed, and if you look at the I posted pics of all the stocks that I sort of follow on a daily basis uh, there are cannabis stocks in there that I follow I don't have positions in any of them except for family that's just getting that just got some position I'll I'll think about it um, position in a cannabis company but it's not it's a private company it's not uh, on the pub ah, actually the secondary companies that they're doing business with they're on the market so um, once a position is placed and I'm comfortable with the information that I've looked at and I'm comfortable with those things I may mention them okay swag by uh, boy flex I am mistaken the largest holder of Bitcoin is the US I'm pretty sure the US government is the largest holder of Bitcoin okay uh, the United States has uh, with silk went with silk road when they took over silk road they confiscated a tremendous amount of bitcoins and other crypto right they took the owner and threw him a, a ulic i forget his name poor kid right he didn't know he didn't realize what he was getting into uh it was just tech they took this poor kid and threw him in jail for life right and they confiscated all the bitcoin and took off robber baron pirates scumbags right um i'm pretty sure they're still holding a lot of it they auctioned off a lot but who did they auction it off to right ding bobber chicho i see a big future for geforce now uh, nvidia's answer to google uh, stadia it is free and also offers a subscription option you can play high-end games on uh, on low end laptops at six uh, 60 frames per second with maximum setting really thing bobber link it up in our personal finance um if there's information that you guys have that especially in tech tech is tech is still there's tremendous opportunities out there certain tech companies are maxed out they, they're peaking right certain tech companies are going to be collapsing um so there's certain tech I would not invest in. There's certain tech for sure it's worth investing in. Sleepy ways, Chicho. Yeah, in New York City, I believe they are allowing folks uh, to have up to six plants. Then everybody in New York City should be growing six plants. It you can treat it as a commodity. You could treat it as a means of exchange, right? Grow your plant, harvest your cannabis, right? If you're allowed to grow, you're allowed to hold. Dry it properly. Put it in your freezer when you see someone selling something ask them if they're willing to trade if they're willing to trade see if you're willing to trade instead of tomatoes we'll see if they're willing to take your harvest as uh, a means of exchange 
right? Why not? Why does it have to be fiat currency or any type of currency used to do trade between individuals, free thinking individuals within a community? Why not do trade? We do like for us here where I live. There are people growing chicken, right? We we did some work for someone else and as payment we're getting eggs right like literally we go pick up our eggs from our friend we don't pay anything because we've already done the work right we traded our skills to get eggs beautiful be organic free range eggs in our community and they get fed well. I go see the, you know, when they go to their house, we go see the chickens. They're like, burr, 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 burr. <laughs> like fantastic, right? There will be this uh, disruptive innovations. It's a relatively new thing and has room for improvement. Ding bobber, the G force, cool, cool, cool. Link it up for us, Ding bobber, please. Okay sensor to upload upload in danger is it okay uh <laughs> the part of the united states that pisses me off is that so many states are passing it recreationally and they are still picking up the war in drugs in colombia for yeah because that's the biden that's the, that administration there they don't like taxes are about to go up on small business in the united states not only has small business been devastated in the last year right now their taxes are going to go up who who were the bright people that voted oh this is we can't talk about this sorry it's going to go on censor too chicho how do you think the legalization of weed in mexico will, will do i think it'll do fantastic uh right cheryl regarding uh narco state bc narco state you're not a real narco state unless you import impose roaming your local forest. <laughs> Imported impose. <laughs> Sorry. Swag, swag boy Felix. I think China has the largest greenhouse gas emission uh, related to the mining of crypt, uh, crypto since most of their electricity portfolio comes from local uh, coal power. Yeah. And I think the Chinese people can mine other coins other than Bitcoin okay and I know about the coal power in China because there's a port that we have here and the back in the day I had stocks in this company that is basically the only location where the coal can go to to put it on containers to send it to China so China is buying a tremendous amount of coal from British Columbia and it's coming up from the States as well no not in that direction I believe but America holds more cryptos okay swag boy thank you for the info you raise my cat emote that is <laughs> sal and v are in the house ross uh ulbrich yeah ross ulbrich i feel bad that's one person i really feel for really uh for sure julian assange chelsea manning snowden they knew like they should be freed right chelsea manning should be part let letter letter b free this not just oh you're on leave until we decide to come after you again right but chelsea manning julian assange edward snowden knew what they were getting into ross yulbrich did not he was just a kid caught up in this thing and it was just tech he was rolling out he was played I feel for him for all what I did what I researched I, I knew about him and you know you can't believe anything that was brought up against them because in the United States there is no justice there uh, sergeant bus kill Chicho I mean to say say is what is the turning point for Orwellian future no democracy or free thought censorship uh, censorship is the kicker right if the centralized power is allowed to censor free thought free speech we're there right like that's the turning point uh sergeant buskill okay when 
the centralized power takes over language that society is a dystopian society that's it okay that's that's the reason why i'm so hardcore on censorship that people don't appreciate what it really means it just means they haven't they don't know history they've never read science fiction they've never read dystopian dystopian novels or they don't understand how centralized power behaves right so censorship is 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 the straw that's going to break our societies g4 sounds dope please do post on discord yeah for sure please ding bobber g4s dog.com on android mac ios on pc eggs are a financial commodity i like it indeed and yeah, they're good eggs they're good those little chickens lay really good eggs it runs the witcher 3 flawlessly but requires fast internet cool 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 john zuck how are you doing in my state it's illegal and i'm at a hotel i got a note saying no substance against federal law marijuana or loud noise laugh out loud but they didn't leave a note about shrooms because they can't smell that haha <laughs> ding bobber like linkedin discord awesome thank you very much ding bobber comparing canada to colombia is not ct fact checked <laughs> it was crazy we're a narco state everybody in bc was laughing until they took someone that was selling cannabis seeds and extradited him to the united states and put him in jail for five years right see what she showed colombia should just legalize colombia should legalize all drugs but they won't because they're funded by the cia for them to destabilize uh, it's a it's a hub for them to destabilize uh south and central america all right compatible with steam yet yeah, awesome 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 uh, and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org and our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor tube good evening from germany envious how are you doing i hope you're doing well cosmic visions good morning good morning great to see you good to see you as well cosmic visions oh the god i think education in school is even more dangerous than censorship uh, indeed but censorship applies to education there are certain things they will not teach in school you can't you can't even discuss it it's like a giant explosion of communist people entering the workforce i, I would call them totalitarian uh, or you're talking about the students it, it's 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 a giant explosion of uneducated completely indoctrinated people that have no idea what it means to be free and they haven't explored their own identities yet entering the workforce because they are told that's what they need to do anybody that's smart coming out of high school college or university hopefully you're not going into huge debt when you're going to college or university don't do it gang do not go into major debt if you're getting an education you're going to become a slave don't do it okay but anybody coming out of a centralized indoctrination center okay needs to take some time off and educate yourself in regards to personal finance and investing investing in a big way and that is directly related to politics okay check this out let's see what uh, sleepy waves you posted something and automod zapped us so i'm gonna read the words that automod did not like it didn't like big bite in the ass <laughs> those are two words and all those words are separate right i'm gonna allow that that is hilarious that's why automation this 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 smart uh algorithms are rolling out to censor information and stuff it's killing dialogue on any platform discourse on any platform that is doing this right and then the 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 spammers the marketers programmers are smarter than what these giant uh platforms are rolling out so they know how to bypass all that 
I see that because on SensorTube, the comments we're getting, the bots, the spam, the porn links that are popping up in SensorTube's comments are over the top. I've never seen so much spam coming out, being posted on SensorTube before. It's insane. After 15 years of uploading videos on SensorTube, in the last few months, the amount of spam and uh, just phishing sites that are being posted as legit comments on SensorTube are crazy, crazy, right? As a creator, it's wasting my time because I have to go there and delete them manually. Not a good partner. Yo, yo, kebabs, how are you doing? Kenny Roberts, hello, hello, welcome to another live stream. Uh, Cheryl, uh, I know one who is uh, who is in public school that is uh, definitely not headed towards communism. Anarchism seems to be running uh, strong in this young one. <laughs> nice, Cheryl. And by the way, gang, I have students as well that really are not buying into the bullshit, the BS of the centralized education. They're, they're not, right? They just they just do what they're told but in the background they know where it's at okay more and a lot of gamers a lot of gamers man some of my best students ever have been gamers uh in mathematics right mathematics and physics they've been gamers because they can process information fast they know centralized power is complete bs the ones i've had anyway and they're carving their own way as long as they don't get addicted to the game they don't allow their passion to become addictions right think about where language is a is a spell it could hold you in illusion limiting your infinite nature words can be used to manipulate indoctrinate and control but they can be used to heal it is a tool that can pull people into unconsciousness well said thing bobber well said sergeant buskill i was having a conversation with my best friend about the cinsa she just shrugged and got back on the hack web <laughs> hilarious so let's see what you wrote uh Steve, with chicho i think that people who support censorship by big tech and government just don't see it on a higher level maybe the implication long term for in for stance the whole bit of certain trans activities trying to limit certain anti-trans books from being published because in their defense that that will only add to the increase of violence that people perpetrate against the community however in the long term the point is that it can bite everyone in the ass because in the limit everything can be censored indeed and sleepy waves i agree with you 100 percent. and this whole thing the uh higher level application uh for us the whole bit yeah the the censorship being rolled out it's it's a control mechanism right not for the betterment of humanity it's for the enslavement of humanity unfortunately i even have certain people that i know and some of them in tech that a couple of years ago at least when censorship was really ramping up just beginning i could see it happening but they weren't really privy to it right and i mentioned to them that no i'm not uploading to bitchute and some other sites and they're like oh but those are uh what, is, what do they call them uh, right-wing uh, racist sites i'm like you're you're talking about a platform for sharing video you're saying a platform is racist how idiotic right i go and censorship is going to kill our societies and they're like well these people need to be controlled i go they're going to come after you you dingling i was pretty hard with the guy i love the guy he's a really nice guy by the way uh, you know, he's hard is in a per his heart is in a good place but they don't know history they don't they don't understand the evils of centralized capital uh what they're capable of doing and i can't understand why people are not aware of this thing because centralized capital commits genocides how could just look at history right cosmic visions yo chicho i just put my jalapeno outside but i just transplanted it into a soft 
softer a softer fabric to give it more oxygen it has two peppers on it really uh, right now one big one small uh, but it's blooming uh, like crazy compared to last year but garden plants ah nice nice I haven't moved anything outside yet um, plan is to do it in the next couple of weeks I gotta go clean up but I'm, I'm in Canada so it's a, still a little bit cold here I don't want to I don't want to get sort of frost happening and killing some of the plants right so I'm being a little cautious on the deal but we're going to be putting our seeds in uh, certain places should have done it a couple of weeks ago actually Cheryl uh, he's just starting to ask excellent questions Cheryl says and questions my answers nice it is both tremendously frustrating and a source of great pride awesome Cheryl did did we have any doubt that you were you you were doing it right i doubt it uh sergeant buzzkill i worry about people who are uh ignorant to our tyrannical overloads yeah i i don't worry about them as long as they're adults uh if you're an adult you don't get it yet uh, too bad you're going to learn a lesson uh make sure you put that uh, uh you take that knowledge that experience and put it to good use okay it was a uh, it was a uh, hit heart container cosmic vision what did kebab say <laughs> kebab says when my jalapeno needs oxygen i blow it cheryl says i like to see that don't buy into the BS bullshit because of Sergeant Buzzkill says he ways. Uh, Chicho, I'm interested in learning more about blockchain technology because I agree that it is a disruptive technology that will prevail because it's necessary as more tech companies try to suppress anonymity. That being said, each time I try to find information, I get all these financial gurus. Yeah, it's just crap. Uh, sell me crap <laughs> with no analysis or politics or economics, to be honest. Is there a platform or website you recommend to educate yourself, myself more? Uh, have you read the white papers uh, for Bitcoin? Read the white paper for Bitcoin. Okay. And from there, start following some of the tech people uh that have been uh working on the platforms okay forget about uh forget about um uh, the personal finance investing people that are talking about blockchain technology right you don't want to talk to them you, you don't want to get your feedback from them because they're they're basically pumping and dumping they're trading right which you can if you were into the trading game but if you want to know the technicals of it you need to follow the programmers read what they're doing I was reading the stuff like 10 years ago right so I've you know I don't have the sources available anymore uh, I got a rudimentary understanding of it uh, that made me comfortable to appreciate that this thing was serious disruptive innovation it was going to rock the world right that was as far as i needed to go for what i wanted to do right but if you want to dig down more you want to read information from the programmers from people who are building the platforms not the people like max uh, uh what do you call it uh kaiser like kaiser i, I watch i don't watch all this stuff i like uh more her his uh, wife's his partner's commentary at the beginning and some of the people he interviews not all of them there's a lot of pump and dump people there right but the the data that is being presented uh, in the first half of Max Kaiser and some of the people being interviewed they're pretty good however like people like Max Kaiser are pump and dump people right they're uh, they're traders they're not the programmers they really don't understand the technicals of it okay kebabs touching on the debt caused by education it is really clever because it trains students to work their ass off and take their job seriously once they get 
uh, their dream job in, indeed and their dream job is not their dream job their dream job is really a job to pay their debt they accumulated to get this job to pay the debt that they were going to accumulate through centralized indoctrination right <laughs> Cheryl sorry I had to it was a good joke I wouldn't pay for, pay for it to see kebabs blow the jalapenos though uh, I think that would be like oh my god what's going on <laughs> Cosmic vision. I stop worrying about how corrupt the world is. I just sit back and enjoy my beer next to my AK, AK Kappa. Liquid swords and one. I can imagine that frequently frequent gamers are very good at math. Logic, problem solving, patterns, and precision is essential indeed. Right? And you have to feed the information super fast to gamers. Okay. Uh, because they get bored right so you gotta lay 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 take them to a level where it's hard when they hit a hard level then you can build up on the more of the rudimentary concepts right so that's the way i teach mathematics to my gaming uh students right and then they have hiccups oh what 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 and that's when they're really interested and then you take them back and fill in the you know fine tune them and then all of a sudden Boom. they know all of it right elega chicho i need my mod powers on sensor to move to my new account so i can delete porn links uh, okay done deal let me know which one it is elder god i'll do it okay i did and it for me i'm on the fence for it i almost want to leave stuff up right if sensor tube doesn't have the ability to censor porn spam links comments from their platform meanwhile they're spending all their energy censoring free thought then why am i putting in energy to hold up this sinking ship well i know why one of the reasons i'm doing it is because i believe that if i don't delete these comments sensor tube will put a strike against my channel saying i'm not moderating my own content right which is their job really right in large part that's the responsibility they took on that's why they're getting the big bucks right the other reason is i don't want to treat the audience on sensor tube as if they are alphabet inc they are the company they're not there's a tremendous amount of amazing people on sensor tube that have been following my work for a number of years there's a handful of people that are supporting my work on sensor tube through a youtube sensor to membership and i appreciate that very much so the work i'm putting in is not for sensor to the work i'm putting in is to make sure the people that want to follow my work don't get exposed to this bs right so i'm filling in the gaps where sensor tube is dropping the ball hardcore i've done work for companies like this those companies don't last very long okay they lose their foothold in the industry because people don't trust them anymore people move on i got good at math once i stopped uh overthinking it really uh peculiar yeah yeah for sure kebabs for sure v62p hello hello gang i'm going to scroll down a little bit just catch uh, stuff that says chicho on it cheryl chicho i think people are aware that centralized power has caused major issues but i think they truly believe that they can overcome the temptation and corruption yeah people are stupid uh those people are anyway right they know nothing of history and it's it's a testament to them coming out of centralized indoctrination centers right ding baba chicho uh kundalini energy chi life force whatever you want to call it is available at all times we are unplugged and there are yogas and kriya, kriyas that awaken the energy i did a 30 minute kundalini kriya uh which involved exercise afterwards i felt alive like i hadn't haven't in months and it lasted for hours awesome and it, this is personal finance related your health should be your number one concern uh in terms of personal finance and investing right if you're having ill health don't take thousands of dollars and put it in the stock market take thousands of dollars and improve your food intake buy organic food go hire a physical 
fitness trainer to help you overcome certain problems you might be having physically okay hire a dietitian to help you manage your diet okay super waste chicho people don't know history about what centralized power and capital is capable capable but also most people don't realize that ideologies like fascism and censorship can arise from any political side indeed be it left or right but people in the states just naively believe it comes from the right indeed hi surge <laughs> thank you without air <laughs> i sure all links to that oh my god love out loud <laughs> awesome elder god's got it in there with the salad v on both sides awesome cheryl and under uh, elder god pretty funny isn't it haha <laughs> halter top hey chicho sorry if this uh this deviates but what what your advice do you have what advice do you have for someone who is working in a field that they don't get satisfaction from anymore i know that i need to trans transition but the idea of doing so is terrifying since i have no idea how long it would take to do so while working full-time uh halter top start the transition process don't be in a rush to do it make sure you're enjoying the process the transition process into whatever field that is interesting interesting you at the time right so you're here doing something that you don't like let's assume you find this field here that you're interested in start doing some work there see if you like it test the waters maybe you're not gonna like this so you can't do a full transition from here to here take the hit that you're going to take financially and emotionally your energy level to do this transition and then spend some time here and all of a sudden decide that you don't want to be here either so don't do it that way we all have bills to pay so you need to have your revenue coming in so do your work here the first thing you've done you've realized that you don't want to be here okay if you don't want to be here if you have a nest egg then you can take a break if you don't have a nest egg like a serious nest egg right then one of the things you should include in this by the way i should mention reduce your expenses big time reduce your expenses you're gonna find out like don't eat out as much don't drink out don't don't blow money don't go gambling don't don't do things that blow your savings right so build up your savings and then what you're going to find out when you reduce your expenses is your savings are going to accumulate faster and faster now take some of those savings and try out different fields that you want to be in right if you find one that you want to spend some time in start spending more time in there slowly if you're able to start generating revenue there then you can start cutting back on this do not cut back on this completely and then try to go into this completely unless you have an amazing safety net that includes money in the bank uh, social network family place that you can live for an extended period of time that you know is safe right do you know what i'm saying uh, i hope that's that's helpful okay for me i have i've had to do those transitions uh, the main one was going from geophysics to teaching mathematics but to me that was sort of circumstances brought me to that point sergeant buskill i'm going to go and create the list of crystals to put into discord i will be listening to awesome awesome sergeant buskill thank you very much kebabs to halter top I would look at the reasons why you don't get satisfaction from the field you're working in and then match your transferable skills with a role that stays clear of all the things causing your lack of satisfaction good advice right good day gents yoshi how are you doing good day good day hope you're doing well fred i don't do uh finances but i love your background also thanks <laughs> crystals plants lights and shrubbery right awesome awesome fun i'm all the way down to the bottom awesome here's my snack gang 
walnuts and raisins this is what I was eating yesterday too let's see if you'll focus can you focus can you focus is it gonna focus oh come on come on let's see if it wants it closer is it gonna focus I don't think it's gonna focus this is like oh there it is look at that walnuts and raisins yellow raisins super delicious together super delicious together really so good so good super yummy and i grabbed like three raisins and a walnut right or half a walnut yoshi i'm doing great how, how you been doing doing fantastic yoshi enjoying the the challenges of being online exciting times exciting times it's it keeps me on my toes and that i really appreciate because uh it makes me relevant it's helping me to educate myself uh it's a spice in life right halter top yeah that makes sense it's awesome advice for some reason my brain always seems to lash to one or the other when really i know there is an in-between sorry if this is a duplicate i wasn't uh wasn't connected to chat for no i don't think it was a duplicate and um fantastic like decentralized man don't and this is one advice i've been giving to people for a while now don't have only one major source of revenue that pays all your bills have multiple sources of revenue that if one of them gets cut you still have other sources of revenue so all you need to do to remain uh, anti-fragile is to decrease your expenses right so if you have four or five different sources of revenue one gets cut two get caught you still have three left three get cut you still have two left if three get cut you better be starting to look for other ones to fill in these other ones right Zachap raid 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 with 14 people thank you very much for the raid uh Zachap. appreciate it i hope the people you're raiding with have amazing snacks going on right now uh, throwing a grenade fastest fastest way to turn one pound into one thousand uh if it doesn't have to be guaranteed if it's not guaranteed the fastest possible way that you can turn 1,000 into one pound into a thousand pounds go to a casino find the highest risk thing you can place a bet on and put it on if that's what you want to do yummy yummy very yummy Verizon what's your opinion on the whole working in the system to change the system I I don't uh, I feel extremely split on this philosophy many of my fellow peers who know who now have jobs as teachers lawyers doctors and accountants all had dreams of changing systems from within but they've either been completely burnt out given up or they've just quit their jobs what is your advice regarding this um, what you mentioned are different right uh, teachers lawyers doctors and accountants doctors uh, will have a hard time working outside outside a system because they need licensing right they need licensing teachers if you're working for a centralized education system for the most part will have a hard time as well because the curriculum comes down from the top right lawyers will not law lawyers unfortunately go work try to their ideal job initial job is to go work for established firm and work up the ladder and stuff like this however there are maverick lawyers out there that start their own practices and start um, defending humanity against corporations and there's lots of examples of these types of lawyers and they one one of one lawyer like that is equivalent to ten thousand lawyers that work for the system right so the bang for your buck is pretty damn good okay uh one of them was uh julian assange one of julian assange's main lawyers um 
Radcliffe, what was his name? Unfortunately, he passed away. Man, I was so sad when he passed. He passed like uh, five years ago or so. Uh, Michael Radcliffe, I believe. He was amazing. Oh, wow, wow, wow. So there's, and he's just one. But he did, he he had a huge impact on our societies. So there are lawyers who have done this that have had a huge impact on our societies. There are also teachers who have had a huge impact on our societies. Krishnamurti is one. John Taylor Gatto is another. But they have to work outside of the system. As far as accountants go, for sure, there are accountants out there that can act as mavericks and save people a lot of money and... Um, work for independence right but working within a system to you know becoming a member of this party and that party to try to change that party is not going to work uh to get a job as a teacher and go teach in a centralized indoctrination center you're going to burn out uh it's not going to work that's one reason i haven't done that i can't do it right i've been teaching for 20 years but after the first year uh, i realized there's no way i could teach within a centralized education system it's not going to work all right let's see what can you list your current streams of revenue uh right now what is it my personal teaching and my personal teaching is from uh word of mouth i partner up with the school that sends me students i have ads online i have my website online there's youtube there's patreon there's twitch uh there is some other things that i do there's trading for eggs these are all sources of revenue right as far as i'm concerned they're completely decentralized but it's not revenue really it's me living my life right we got raided we got raided zachap And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a journalist and publisher that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist. Check this out. Automod is not allowing foods. It's zapping foods. This is how ridiculous the automation has become insanity i'm gonna allow that to halter top right elder god remember the one who cannot be named work within the system to destroy the system it's impossible yeah <laughs> see what chicho i didn't realize your website pays you no it doesn't but it gets me clients right so my website right that i have three websites i have a math website just type in go to go to DuckDuckGo or go to your web browser and type in mathinreallife.com it's going to take me to my math website right and that math website is the site that i reference that i use to tell people that i teach mathematics that brings me clients okay and once they look at that people go wow your videos are amazing whole even though i haven't up 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 updated that website for six years now five years i don't know when the last time last video was that i loaded on there right people are like wow and usually it's parents that come across it and they go i want this person to teach my child mathematics and physics right so it's a means to an end right the egg economy no hen hey hen haggling Hag haggling hen haggling uh halter top chicho on the saving money discussion what are the best foods to purchase to keep a long time are easy to cook or good for you save most money uh oats some people might disagree but oats i we have steel cut oats okay regular oats different types of flour okay so right now at our house we just finished our whole wheat flour no, no we have a little bit of whole wheat left i have whole wheat organic flour we got rice flour we got tapioca flour we got um coconut flour okay seeds nuts and stuff are good uh you can get a freezer i have uh, we don't have a deep freezer here but i've 
I've had friends and family that have deep freezers where when they can get meat on sale, they buy in bulk and they freeze it. Okay. Uh, fruits, fruits that are in season are amazing and you can freeze them. All right. You can make your own jams and preserves. You can make your own pickles. So you can go buy during cucumber season. You can go buy a lot of cucumber for cheap, relatively cheap and make pickles right it's meditative cooking right it's meditative you're spending time in the kitchen you're spending time with your food and you have pickles for a whole year amazing it's also a great gift to be to give to people like for us when, when I give presents or when we give presents to other other people we're giving them pickles we're giving them jam we're giving them honey food as gifts right so there's a whole bunch of stuff. I got a chicken currency, chicken currency. I can't see that message. You can't see chicken currency. Which message can't you see? Oh, you can't see the one that auto mod, auto mod zaps. So uh, that's what I thought. So I'm the only one mods. You guys can't see what auto mod is not permitting. Like auto mod was taking out. Uh, what do you call it? didn't like the word foods now i have no idea how this word is being used any other places right cheryl if anyone is not familiar with marketing concepts strategies and usage in developing personal and business relationships i strongly encourage you to learn more second it second it big time right one of the main things you need to do Okay, if you're running your own business is retain your clients and make sure your clients are referencing you, are recommending you to people they know. Word of mouth is key. That means you have to treat people kindly, well, understand them, have empathy for them and bend over backwards to make sure that they are happy with your service or product right and that is one place where sensor tube is just dropping the ball uh, just destroying themselves horrendous management decision and any company that you're invested in that doesn't give a rat's ass about its clients or its or its customers or its employees do not invest in that company that company is not gonna last long amazon has been doing fantastic they treat their clients very well their customers very well but they treat their employees horrendously right and that is becoming more widespread becoming known uh, by more and more people and at some some point the employees of amazon are going to unionize hardcore okay as they should halter top awesome i think a major problem of mine is that i don't have a history of spending much time in the kitchen still need to try making some liqueur liqueurs too and halt gang one of the biggest expenses for people is eating out drinking out you cut that out you spend time in the kitchen that is one of the best financial decisions you can make in your life you eat healthier you become healthier you save money win 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 okay and it's meditative okay start small follow recipes if you need to and if you want to experiment talk to your parents your grandparents family members that have been providing food to the family for years find some family recipes that you love learn how to cook them right there there's got to be a food in your family that you wish you knew how to make that you love to eat but you don't know how to make it you can only eat it when you go visit family you know what next time you go visit them tell them i'm going to come a day early teach me how to cook this food i'm going to help you out i will be your prep cook right i will chop the stuff for you have a notepad write it down 
I did that with my mother for five years. I spent five years in the kitchen with my mom learning how to cook the foods that I love to eat. Okay. And I'm sharing that during our cooking streams with you guys. Highly recommend it. Not on my mobile, maybe on the mod view on a laptop. Okay. Cheryl Chicho auto mod is invisible on mobile. Ah, that's why only mod view on desktop. Okay. Okay, cool. Thanks, Cheryl. This isn't going on YouTube. 100% bit shoot. Serious elder God, not on bit shoot. Uh, I'm saying not on bit shoot, not on sensor tube. You guys let me know. Should we load this video on sensor tube? We got three other platforms we can load them on. We barely have. We got 14 subscribers on Odyssey. We got 30 nine on uh rumble and we got 370 on bitchute right on sensor tube we got 33,000. <laughs> right so you guys let me know should we load this on sensor tube or not sensor tube you're putting it uh, you're putting uh, uh sergeant buzzkill you're putting the list together on discord awesome i told my partner she was really excited about it legendary rob boss how are you doing chicho so true uh how often do you eat out how often do i eat out not very often like maybe once a month it's, it, we, I, let me rephrase there are times where both me and my partner are very busy and we haven't gone shopping right we don't have one of the core ingredients we need to make something so there are maybe like a couple of days where we go buy something and eat it for a couple of days so maybe once twice a month three times max a month max and there are months that we don't eat out okay in the past a lot more a lot more a lot more sleepy waves chicho what is this week's news about sex suing library it's it, they're going after library uh because of the tokens so they're saying any tokens because on library you get points right you get the library tokens so that's a crypto and they're saying that is uh is is, is a security so they have to file papers on their security to be able to do this thing right this is them going after not just library but also ethereum and every crypto that is based on ethereum so the top two cryptos in the market are bitcoin and ethereum those are the top two those will have been the top two from the get-go all right uh, there are a couple of there's like five of them that have been there right but bitcoin and ethereum are the top two the Securities Exchange Commission is going after Ethereum and all the currencies, all the cryptos related to Ethereum. If they're able to do this, the money from there might go into Bitcoin, right? However, if they do this and they allow Bitcoin to survive, right? They could bring in rules to eliminate Bitcoin as well. Easy, right? That's one thing people have to understand. If your savings, if your investment are 100% in cryptos, you're being foolish okay but if they go after ethereum and take out ethereum and let bitcoin thrive they own it okay that's it and that it to me is destructive force for humanity and there's no way i'm going to be investing in bitcoin right haven't gotten the chance time to look it up I, th I think that's what's going on Verizon this wouldn't be for everyone but I I use a combination of the following keto intermittent fasting 6 to 18 hours cool uh, combined with a vegan diet saves me a ton of money saves me a ton of time and saves the planet itself 60% of your personal carbon footprint is derived from your your eating habits 60% really meat and uh, uh and dairy i'm assuming that's supposed to say that's not to mention ethical and moral arguments about eating animals okay verizon for me i still eat meat but the meat that i'm buying 
99% of it is local from local farms, right? Uh, we go to a butcher that is getting their meat from local farms, right? And all of it grass fed, if it's beef, all of it ethically raised, all of it small, small farms, not large industry farms. So that's one way of doing it as well if you want to reduce your footprint. Okay. Liquid source. Uh, eating, drinking out, the biggest save of money there is. One night out drinking can be $60. Oh, I've dropped a lot more than 60. This amount of money could also be enough for a month of real food with real healthy ingredients. Indeed, liquid sort. I agree. And one night out here in Canada, good night out, a lot more than $60. I've dropped ridiculous amounts of money uh, on nights out. But that's when I was flying large, right? Lots of trading. Okay, I'm scrolling down, gang. Yoshi says, let's put it in the sensor tube. So we upload to sensor tube. Okay. Yoshi, Yoshi says sensor tube. Oh, Sergeant Buskill, you put it in the religious folder? Awesome. Religion and spirituality folder. So in heavy topics, gang, if you're on our Discord page, we have a religion and spirituality folder. It might be spirituality and religion is alphabetized. So uh, Sergeant Buzzkill put the list of the crystals uh, based on, is it Nordic mythology, uh, religion, uh, Norse? Do we call it Norse? Norse mythology, I believe, isn't it? Uh, so put the put the information regarding crystals in that folder. Thank you very much, Sergeant Buzzkill. I'm going to go there today for sure and look it up. <laughs> Yoshi, when you invest in Ethereum, they're going after ethereum would i invest in ethereum i like ethereum really i love the whole concept of smart contracts and i love ethereum uh, a lot of crypto out there a lot of websites are based on ethereum there's a hardcore people that are pushing bitcoin that hate ethereum i'm like man anybody that's hating on other cryptos uh, really doesn't understand the concept of decentralization and so no yoshi i don't hate ethereum but the securities exchange commission is going after ethereum uh a few days ago they filed a case against it uh library which is using ethereum technology for their tokens right so they're trying to say any site that is using tokens has to file under the securities exchange commission as a security right just the cost of that is going to eliminate a lot of people take pe a lot of people out of the game so they're trying to bring in more centralization of power right but no i like ethereum are you an undercover santa claus dark hawk dark hawk <laughs> dark hawk I, I have your first appearance in comic books and i like your character dark hawk no i do bring gifts to people though and we do uh, auctions where we give out gifts right super chicho i live in new york city i wish i could find local farm meat here but there's only large farm corporations that's unfortunate but sleeve waves going outside well you gotta travel that's the kicker right look into it sleepy waves there are farms out there that if you find them they they do butcher animals okay in season and if you've signed up with them they will send you meat verizon chicho honestly eating meat from locals is better eating meat from locals is the only way to do it really tell you the truth and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a journalist and publisher that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor tube eligot chicho is one bad mf for loading this to the tube 
is one bad mf what's the mf stand for oh i one bad mf for loading this on sensor too should we do it we're gonna do it elder god we'll see where it takes us legendary rob boss uh i older meat sometimes from force of nature you order meat force of nature i don't know force of nature norse so we call it norse norse mythology okay thanks uh sergeant uh, buzzkill so uh, legendary rob boss force of nature is that a good company there are delivery options like butcher box you could try butcher box as well i don't know those ones uh, because i haven't looked into it for us we get local meat so that's fantastic verizon like i said vegan diet is not for everyone i wouldn't mind if uh minded if people decided to eat one less meat meal a week uh that would make a hell of a hell of a difference agreed agreed also if you source if your source sources your meat locally and grass-fed high animal welfare that's all a plus indeed right and reduce your meat in, in consumption like my meat diet was a lot more in the past than it is now i've reduced my meat in, in, uh, intake right we don't need as much as we're we're been programmed to consume they also sell bison nice wild boar whoa 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 venison nice and elk whoa 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 very nice very nice cheryl says i know a few producers that sell in new york city area uh, more in eggs etc but would gladly see if they'll uh, be at market there this year nice oh uh, sergeant buskill so you uh, you say norse norse mythology you refer to it as honoring the old gods excellent and by the way uh sergeant buskill i'll ask you again have you been watching american gods neil gaiman's american gods have you read the book or are you watching the series or read the comic book series uh, you're gonna add more stones awesome awesome oh there's the force of nature link awesome thank you thank you elder god and legendary rob boss for linking it to elder god fantastic there's a really good app uh, guys for finding local farms near you based on what you are looking to buy it's called simply local just searching that on the app store yes it's an amazing distributor awesome Legendary Bob. every dollar you spend with them goes to supporting regenerative small farms that are working to improve the soil life and water retention awesome legendary rob boss fantastic we've got to link this up in our um, discord page as well i'm gonna grab it let me grab it copy copy i'm not gonna uh, click it just in case it'll uh, knock us out fantastic so what did we talk about today what did we talk about today we did personal finance investing we did wall street we did crypto we did food right should i write this down this is gonna go on our on our description we did we did we did crypto wall street trading uh food health that's enough tags <laughs> now you know oh by the way elder god you're gonna love this i went to make some bread yesterday right and i'll show you guys once i perfect my bread recipe uh should last me the rest of the year when you buy it okay yesterday i bought 15 pounds of extra age appalachian raw milk cheese for one of my favorite state creamery oh sounds delicious sounds delicious hot mom how are you doing hope everyone's having an amazing morning indeed indeed fantastic conversations by the way hot mom uh sergeant buskett oh i try to avoid anything that represents the old gods differently than my shaman or the edase oh really i don't know if neil gaiman uh neil gaiman spent a lot of time studying norse mythology or 
uh, a way to honor the old gods. He's got a comic book series called Norse Mythology, I believe, where he's talking about the old gods and stuff. And there are old gods and new gods in this series. I would be really interested to get your take on this. Uh, Allergog, gluten-free bread is my only option, but it's so exp so expensive. I used, by the way, to make the bread, I took the yeast and I used yeast uh, because I wanted to get fluffy. It was whole wheat and uh, coconut flour I was using. Now, I took the yeast and I added the sugar, right? But I was in a little bit of a rush and I didn't wait for the... I boiled some water, but I didn't let it cool down enough to lukewarm. I let it cool down, but not cool enough. So when I pull, poured it and mixed it up, the yeast didn't rise. I destroyed the yeast. So it became hard, heavy, right? So what I ended up doing is putting it in a lining the cast iron pan with the with the dough and i made uh meat pie right onions garlic meat a uh, little bit of meat not much uh carrots broccoli and some herbs and stuff and then i covered it with uh, with the with the dough as well and my first meat pie fantastic so good so good Oh, let's check this out. Auto mod didn't allow the following. You own the cow. <laughs> I'm gonna allow that. <laughs> Hilarious. Hilarious. Verizon. Uh, also, you might take away my vegan license for this, but I keep bees. Peas. Bees are awesome. I would encourage keeping bees as they need all the help they can get at the moment at least here in the uk verizon i'm 100 with percent with you uh i don't have any bees but i eat a lot of honey we got uh, two or three or four honey videos online where we're jarring a few pounds of honey uh and i do this on a yearly basis or every second or third year depending on a, on our honey supply i'm a honey i'm i'm like winnie the pooh i do anything for honey hot mom cheryl great thanks about to order some breakfast how are you zabrowski how are you doing chicho my family member recently got a job delivering yeast leftovers from local brew breweries and delivering it to local farms to help produce food i never heard of this before whoa whoa what are you using the yeast for for local farms is it going to go into the soil that's interesting That's interesting. It's a loophole farmers offer to get around the dump raw milk law. What is this thing? I'm missing something. That's Cheryl, in my state, raw milk cheese sales are not legal. Yeah, they're not legal here e either. Raw milk sales are illegal unless you own the cow. I own a share of a cow, uh, cow herd. So I technically own part of the herd that gives me raw milk. Ah, that's cool. So it's like a CSA. And I highly recommend, gang, uh, Community Supported uh, Agriculture, CSA. Okay. Look around your city, town, wherever you are. The odds are there's a CSA there where you give money at the beginning of the season to a local farm group and you pick up their harvest every week or they deliver it to you every week or every second week depending on what you so what you sign up for we've been doing a csa for a few years now it's fantastic bitstorm how are you doing since the topic is finance i've been wondering recently how much saving i should keep my job is safe but you never know right any thoughts on this uh, Bitstorm, I mentioned this in our personal finance videos that we made, the playlist that we have on SensorTube, and uh, BitChute has a lot of those as well. Uh, personally, I would recommend having minimum six months to a year, and if you can manage it, to two years your expenses saved up. Minimum. Okay. You want to have financial freedom, that means freedom to walk away from 
your main source of income if the situation calls for it so minimum absolute minimum six months of your expenses covered for expenses based on how you're living right now if you lose your main source of income you reduce your expenses big time and that six months that you saved up should take you to at least a year okay and i'm not just talking about rent rent has got to be in there your rent you can't decrease but also other expenses food entertainment whatever it is okay six months saved up that way you can walk away if you need to okay honey is beautiful uh nature's nectar yeah it's it's the juices of it's the it's it's the sex juices of flowers how could you not love it <laughs> sergeant buzzkill oh i will have to look at it but the new gods are interesting because after ragnar ragnarok there will be new gods emerging from the ashes to rebuild the yig dress up I, sergeant buzzkill i really want to get your perspective on american gods uh you can read the book neil gaiman's book if you don't want to expose yourself to you know hollywood type of uh show but it's a really good show and there is uh they put out a comic book based on american gods as well neil neil gaiman's american gods i would really get love to get your take on this this is my sort of first exposure to the old gods and new gods and there's a battle being waged honey nectar of the gods bitstorm uh i've read quite a bit how much honey uh available isn't great uh how much honey yeah 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 so many uh many points in the chain where where it can and does get diluted and cut with fructose and similar apparently there are ways to test if you have actual honey yeah if the honey crystallizes it's good honey okay uh, but the honey we're getting is a local honey okay so it's unpasteurized local honey so i know the source of honey but yeah but store-bought shelf honey uh, raw honey you want okay and you have to check the source for sure by bit store gang how's our timing oh we're getting close to the end gang evil to hope how are you doing i have to budget in choo choo as well <laughs> thanks evil to hope <laughs> you're budgeting me in i like it so six months essential i.e mortgage food bills ideally one year yeah that's what i would do bit store and keep in mind six months of your current expenses and one of the main reasons people get into financial difficulty is they lose a source of income maybe their main source of income or secondary source of income either because of health issues or they get laid off or economy or whatever it is and they don't reduce their expenses and keep in mind if you lose your job that means let's go with the standard job eight hours a day five days a week that eight hours a day you're not going to a place to work right that means you have to find something to do with your eight hours of downtime right that you were filling with work now you don't know what to do a lot of people make the mistake of going out and spending more money so not only do people not reduce their expenses once when they lose a job their expenses actually goes up because now they have more time to fill during the day right and within a few weeks or a couple of months no matter how much savings they have not no matter how much but when they've had savings they blow through those savings speedy gonzalez style and then they have to scramble to go get a job to be able to pay their bills right so it seems uh of the logical thing to do if you lose your job you reduce your expenses but i've seen people increase their expenses right so if you reduce your expenses if you decide to change job or lose your job or take a leave of absence reduce your expenses you could last a lot longer than six months 
got the rap the uk need more breasts to watch chicho horizon thanks cheers cheers honey equals b fart uh barf oh but it's the sex juices of the flower i'll take the sex juices of the flower and regurgitate it honey juices or bee juices i'm okay honeys are cute i'll i'll eat their barf if it's the barf of a sex juices of the of flowers Mary G. Lava, I've never heard of it described that way. Cheryl, do you drive up or are they at the market? That's what their conversation got up time. Wow, we're almost to two hours. Thanks, Elder God. Uh, Verizon, just buy honey from a local beekeeper. That's how you know it's it, it'll be the real deal. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. Elder God, four movies can't fit in. Fit in. To the work hour i know this i have done this yeah it doesn't you can't do it cheryl exo this makes me happy I don't know. Uh, bob ross they deliver every week to multiple pickup locations in the area so awesome 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 people getting hooked up love it love it even though so cheryl even though uh folks have been doing this for years it's still good to learn about new ops yeah wait honey has just become sexualized honey has always been sexualized for me <laughs> maybe because well no since i was young it wasn't because i wasn't growing as many plants and watching flowers and seeing the nectars come right but delicious gang let's call the stream great conversation super fun super fun we went all over the place and yoshi says we load this up on sensor tube let's load it up on sensor tube but I can't speak it. Share it on Discord, Elder God. Share your story on Discord. Gang, if you want to know what this work is about, we are on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho. C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to support this work, if you want to know the big picture, which is basically all layered on mathematics, you can see what we're doing on Patreon. And for those of you who've been supporting this work on Patreon, gang, thank you very much for the support. It is in large part because of the support because of your support that we're able to do this and for those of you that want to know i don't put anything behind paywall everything's creative commons share and share a like right so you can go there you can just follow the work and you'll get notifications when we upload stuff to patreon you don't have to support if you don't have the means to do so but if you do support is appreciated take care of yourself chicho will do verizon thank you for popping in thanks for my pleasure load to the tube burn the, burn the farm <laughs> we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat twitch is where you want to be at and gang thank you for the subs thank you for the follows thank you for the conversation thank you for the bits thank you for the uh for the points thank you for being here and mods thank you for taking care of business and everyone for sharing information farewell my friends farewell sergeant buzzkill we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on parlor vk gab and mines we got sal and via and sal and via and sal and via there somewhere mines and we do have a discord page where there's a fair bit of people sharing information and participating in discussions you can come to our twitch channel anytime you want in the chat type an exclamation mark social and all those links will pop up including our discord page salvia rep yeah nice right so you can share information and pop into our server if you would like we will be uploading the audio of this live stream to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o as a podcast and this podcast should be available in your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we've gotten word we will be uploading this live stream to sensortube to bitchute to rumble and to odyssey and because sensortube is taking forever to process our videos when because they're, they've added this new checking thing that's taking forever the odds are this video will be available for viewing bef on bitchute rumble and odyssey before it's available on sensor tube within a couple of hours most likely uh sensor tube is taking 
longer than all of them to process the video except for bitchute bitchute every now and then i load things up on there as soon as i you know within a couple of days of doing the live streams because sometimes it has hiccups for certain videos but the video is going to go on all those platforms and those of you that are supporting this work on those platforms including those of you who are supporting this work by joining sensor tube membership and there's a button here there's a handful of you there gang thank you very much for the support it is because of the collective support that we're getting on all these platforms that we're able to do what it is that we are doing legendary raw boss chicho -E -E enjoy your easter weekend you guys as well gang i hope you guys eat lots of eggs eggs delicious mm. Gang, I'll see you guys soon. I'll announce the next set of videos probably later on towards the end of this week. Just going to catch up on doing some work in the back end and uploading the content. Aside from that, I hope you guys have a fantastic week and a fantastic Easter weekend. Bye, everyone.